Hey, this is Anton from the HyperAdvisor.com. In the last video, I shown how to create a Nick team using a GUI. And in this video, what I want to do is quickly run through how you would do this through PowerShell and uh, Windows 2000 Server. So the first thing we want to do is I can let's just go into the GUI and just to recap I went into the Nick teaming area here and this is where I actually created the Nick team by using the GUI so let's go ahead and minimize this and let's assume that we're in a server core system or you just want to do everything from the command line here what we do is first let's go ahead and check the, the network adapters that we have in the system and we have two Ethernet adapters here Ethernet and Ethernet 2 and to go ahead and create the NIC team what we want to do is create a new uh, net load balance and failover team and we'll go ahead and pass the name of that team and we'll just call it NIC team and the uh, parameters it'll go ahead and ask you for your team number uh, members we'll go ahead and pass those through uh, these will be the, the the adapter names that we listed up above there so Ethernet and Ethernet 2 okay we'll go ahead and enter those will be the last ones and uh, yes to go ahead and add these uh, this this Nick team so it pretty much kind of gives you a confirmation here do you want to go ahead with this configuration it's going to create the nick the the team with called nick team and it's going to have the members of ethernet ethernet 2 the teaming mode which is shown here is going to be the default for a load balanced um, team which is switch independent and the load balancing algorithm is uh, transport ports so uh, let's go ahead and click yes all right, the team has been created. Here, are the uh, the the information about the team. You see, the status is currently down. Um, you will see this in the beginning because it's, while it's building the team, the the different NICs will um, have to change their status as it's configuring them. So the initial status is going to be down. But if we do a get net load balance team info uh, we can see now it's changed to degraded and eventually or shortly here this should change to um, the status will be up and we'll check it again here and now this time the status is, is up for that Nick team so that's just a quick run through of how we set that Nick team up uh, using PowerShell if we go into the GUI and the server manager, we will also see that the NIC team has been created here. Let's look at the properties, and the properties are the same. The name is NIC team, the team members, and the uh, properties of the team matches what we set from PowerShell. Uh, that's it. My name is again is Anton Hayward. Don't forget to check me out, check out my blog on thehyperadvisor.com and leave any comments on this video if you have any. Talk to you later.